Hey guys, it's Brooke from the Vintage Gardener. Welcome back to my channel. That's the dog. <laughs> um, so I'm in my back in my study. I have two walls to do, and so I'm probably gonna have to put some plastic over my computer setup. But I do like being in here. I like the color. Um, I'm doing a different setup, so which is why now you can see the bookcase like directly behind me. And in case you're wondering, this thing right here is actually a closet. Um, and when I finish the room, I'll, I'll do a video tour. But today I wanted to show you some seeds I got in the mail. COVID-19 has thrown off everything, including seed ordering. And so I ran out, some of the plants I planted, I realized I didn't have enough. And a lot of places don't really have like a lot of bulk seeds, but my seed needs is a place that does. And I had ordered some things from them earlier in the season, but I wanted to order some more. But there was a whole delay, like a COVID shut down a lot of things. And people, of course, have been ordering more things online. So they actually stopped taking orders for a bit and they reopened. And then they said, oh, it's going to take 10 days to ship. So kind of forgot about them. But then they arrived in the mail yesterday. So let me show you what I got. So I got Bells of Ireland. I had some uh, when the... <laughs> when the greenhouse flipped over the second time actually I didn't have a lot of damage but I think I'm not I didn't have really good germination rates and I'm not sure if it's because of the fact that they flipped over or maybe it's just not warm warm enough I think one of the companies I got seeds from like the germination rate for what I remember on it was kind of low I thought but the nice thing about the ones I got from seed means is that these have 400 seeds. So I'll, I do have some of the Bells of Ireland starting starting to come up, but it's not going to be nearly what I was hoping for. So 400 seeds is probably what's going to do it for me. Then I got some watermelon because I didn't buy any seeds and I decided to go with something a little bit different. So it's called Cream of Saskatchewan. That's what it looks like. It's not a red watermelon. It is a um, pale yellow to white melon. But they weigh from between 12 to 20 pounds. <laughs> I'll be sharing some of that. <laughs> um, and so apparently the skins are pretty thin, so you can't store it for long periods of time. So I have 25 seeds. So I'll probably only gonna do a few of them because I don't want anything to... Um, I don't want anything to be wasted. So I'm going to start those soon. Then I got some moonflower. Now moonflowers traditionally, well, the one, what I knew was white. I was not aware that there was a lavender moonflower until I saw on seed needs. They were sold out earlier, but they came back and stopped. So stock, so as you can well imagine, I jumped to do that. So I, I can't, I can't wait because I like regular moonflower. So I'm sure I'm going to like that. Then I got some sunflowers. And so the sunflowers, these, these have a hundred seeds in them. Well, this one packet does. It's called um, Double Dandy. And so this one is a, a dwarf um, sunflower. So it only gets one to two feet high, which is, which is great. And it's only, I think it's only one head. I, you know what? I feel like I had some of these seeds before. My last house, I, you know what, I think I ended up spilling them. I don't think I, because I, I got them from Sunflower Select, I don't think I ended up planting them. I don't remember what happened to them, but I don't have them anymore, so I got some more. Then I got some more Munstead Lavender because I planted what I had, and it's not enough. And this has 500 seeds. This is more like it. Thank you. Thank you, Seed Needs. 500, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is why I will be ordering again from them in the future, because they give you a lot of seeds. Um, cause quite frankly, cause you know, you usually have to put more than one seed in the, in each little cell. So I usually double it up. So, you know, a pack of 200 will give me like two, like 250. And quite frankly, I'm just like, how many did I need? I need like, I need a good like a hundred just in my driveway beds. That doesn't include anything else with my herb garden. Okay. Then I got some baby breath pink. It's called Carmine Pink. I was not aware baby breath came in another color besides white, but it did, but it does. And this has about, ooh, 2,000 seeds. 
yeah, this will be a pretty, I think this will be a really pretty filler. So I'm really excited about, um, about growing that. And then last but not least, I got cherry rose sunflower. Now I, I grew some of this last year in my garden and it's only 50 seeds, which is still a lot. Um, cause the nice thing about sunflowers is I can kind of do the paper towel method, which will make sure that all 50 of them germinate. But I would really like it if all 50 of them germinate. And it does get pretty tall. I think in my last house, I think it got up to maybe five feet tall. The best part about this particular sunflower is that it's multi-branching. So it's just not the one it had, because I remember, if I remember correctly, the, the one at the very tippy top blooms and then the branches started blooming later. So you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. And so um, I don't remember how many it produced how many blooms per plant but it, it was it was at least five or six um now this is it's deep cherry to maroon and the petals the tips of the petal are light peach or salmon colored now where i had mine planted uh last year was got a, a lot of sun it was like due south and so the color was a little bit washed out um i'm gonna be putting this uh, primarily in the raised bed that's uh, 12 by 20 and so it does get good morning sun but it's not like the same same sun like it was in my other house so I'm, I'm thinking the color will be a little bit deeper because the sun won't be fading it so uh, that's it so um, I have a bunch of other seeds that I have a plant I've already posted that video so I need to get my behind in gear and start uh, putting do these seeds the New Jersey weather and, and such, it's just been so odd. I know in North Jersey, they're predicting snow. And so it's just the oddest thing. So if, even if I start now, the, it'll be a little bit delayed, but you know, at least my plants will survive. So that is what came in the mail and I'm excited. I'm ready to get going. Um, and uh, my dirt got delivered. So I'm ready to fill the next two raised beds and um, get my vegetable garden going and get this going. So my planting season is off to a great start. Uh, my trial, my flower trials this year are getting a little out of control, <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's I'm, I'm having fun and that's all that matters, right? So I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.